at the time, I, I have a Yukon Denali. And, you know, I had the rims and all those things on it or whatever. It's 2005. Um, I'm leaving the gym and I'm with my kids, grand, I mean, godfather, Raymond Felton. This is right after they won the national championship. We're driving in the Denali and we're near my old neighborhood in Raleigh. There's a police car that's behind us and he's following us. I see him in the rear view. He's just following us for like five minutes. Every time I turn, he turned, you know, it, it's, we're going through that stage. He follows me for like five minutes and then he just throws his lights on and, and pulls me. When I pull over, he runs up to the truck. Like, he has his gun drawn. He And my, my windows were kind of tinted. He runs up. He has his gun drawn. He takes my door and just opens it and rips it open and saying, get on the ground, get on the ground. And I'm like, what? Like, he hasn't asked me for driver's license, registration, nothing. So I'm looking at him like he crazy. He grabs my shirt, yanks me out of the truck, make me spread eagle on the car. At the time, I'm, call I'm on the phone with my mom. So now I still got the phone as he jerked me out. I still have the phone sitting on the dash. And Ray is now talking to my mom on the phone. The guy has another partner in the car that's coming around. And now both of them are kicking my ankles, making me spread eagle. It's raining. I got on all white. I'll never forget because we was going to a, a, a nightclub where it was an all white party. So I got on all white. He's kicking me. I can hear my mom screaming in the background. And they made me sit on the curb. And while they making me sit on the curb, one of them had his weapon drawn at me, his, his gun drawn on me, while the other one is back there doing the driver license registration. By this time, they have called backup. So now a backup car is approaching me. And he, I don't even know if he saw me on the curb, but he missed me by like two feet. And he just stopped in front of me. He gets out. So now it's two more guys. It's four, a total of four cops out here with their guns drawn on me. And then one of the cops are like, Yo, that's Lavelle Moulton. And the original cop that pulled me came back. And he said, look, man, I'm sorry. I don't want you to think I'm a butthole. That was his exact words, not butthole. But he's like, I don't want you to think I'm an a-hole. And I was like, no, it's way too late for that. I already think you're an a-hole. During this whole time, they don't even know Raymond is in the car. Ray is in the front seat. And I just felt miserable, man, because they, they made me spread eagle. They were kicking me in my, my ankles. They had their weapons drawn on me. They never asked for driver's and, driver license and registration. And he was like, man, I apologize. You know, we got a description of the truck, of, you know, the, the typical, you fit the description thing. And I just remember feeling like I was less of a man when I left there that night. I was going to report it and make a big stick about it. The only reason I never did it is because Raymond was uh, going to get drafted. And I didn't want him in the middle of anything and I didn't want to mess up his uh drafts draft you know order or you know an opportunity for him to go take for care of his family and I lived with that forever and these are just one of the instances I you know I had four or five incidents coming with the kid I, I remember when I was 10 years old I was walking through coming from uh historic Oakwood and that was the next neighborhood beside our projects and I was selling uh, magazines to raise money for our AAU team. That's what we did with AAU then. We raised money and I was going door to door asking people do they want to buy magazines and so on and so forth just being able to afford my AAU trip and I sold all my magazines and on the way back I'm counting my money as I'm walking home and the cop pulled up and he ended up uh, getting out the car he frisked me because he thought I was a crack dealer or a drug dealer and he found the money in my pocket and he said, where this coming from? And I was like, man, I've been selling, a, I mean, I've been selling uh, magazines for my AU team. And he just looked at me like, whatever. He took my money, right? <laughs> he took my money and I had to go home. So now I got to explain to my mom and my coach why probably $85, $90, which was a lot back in the 80s, was missing out of my pocket. You see what I'm saying? So I think America got to understand that my introduction to the police this is my introduction to the police my godfather was a heavily respected guy in our neighborhood and oftentimes he would let me play basketball in our project with the old old cats and i was the youngest dude out there and on this particular day i see a cop car just going around the block circling the block circling the block and finally one of the guys that was playing ball with us i won't name him obviously but he stopped. He's like, man, hold on. 
And he walked to the gate and he told the cops, he said, didn't I tell you I'll pay you when I'm done playing basketball? And that just baffled me because in our neighborhood, he had the cops on his payroll because he was selling dope. So on Fridays, he would break them off and allow them, you know, they little fee or whatever, whatever, because they allowed him to sell drugs. So right there, you become jaded as a kid when you're dealing with the cops. And that's not to say all law, law enforcement are bad or whatever. I've, I've ran into some, some nice cops that uh, was partly responsible for who I am today as well. But I am saying there is a crooked system out here that seems as if it preys on young people of color and we've seen that we've seen that in videos we've seen that from the beginning of time and that's all colin is is kneeling for and that's what he's protesting for and i'm with him a hundred percent you know with that that's 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 what this world should be about is equality